Hello everyone, FunshineX here. Welcome back to Feed the Beast Regrowth Amplified. Playing the Regrowth Pack available on the Feed the Beast Launcher version 071, created by Phoenix. I've been a busy bee <laughs> unlocking seeds. Uh, there's really not much to show on camera, so I just went ahead and did them all. <laughs> Let's go look. The life of the world, 11 quests ready to complete. You can see that uh, pretty much just progresses through the... Um, Vanilla dyes, you know, seeds that give the vanilla plants, and then up through the um, botania plants. So we made the red and blue already. That led to the, or the red and the yellow led to the blue orchid, which led to the allium. Uh, the next one I got was the red tulip. And once you get that red tulip, then it starts unlocking these. And I already had started making them, um, but to get the mystical flower... Uh, the primary colors, so you're going to do red, yellow, blue, and white. And we saw that before, but the red was the tulip and the poppy seed on garden soil. So they're all very similar in how to unlock. you just um, having uh, these skeletal soul seeds has been huge because <laughs> getting bone meal whenever you want is awesome having a ton of bone meal with these because they all they're not magical so you can just bone mill them up and harvest them whenever you want yeah there you go then here's your petals so that's how I got all the petals um, that I needed and unlocked pink tulips and the daisies white tulips orange tulips <laughs> And then the mystical primaries, the mystical secondaries, mystical tertiaries, and mystical flower final. <laughs> I guess there's nothing above tertiary. It's just final. Poor pink, brown, and light gray. All right, we are full on our inventory. I'm just going to uh, probably just turn these all into dye because I don't care about having the flowers. Turn these into petals as well. As it's there we go. It's a up left click to put them in the crafting grid. Makes them a little bit faster. What else we got? Uh, this one. Is that it? Okay. Let's put all the petals back in here. You can see we got a ton of every color now. I don't have to worry about the, uh, um, oops, the magical uh, fertilizer to make the flowers anymore. Okay, last ones: mystical pink, mystical light gray, and mystical brown. Okay. So if you remember, the other thing we're working on is trying to get our um, copper, iron, tin, and coal essence so we can start getting some metals. Um, and so those ones, the, the runic altar recipe takes orange, light gray, dark gray, and black petals um, to make the essence. So that's why these are here. I just spread them and, and have been harvesting them this way. I'm also using bone meal to finish off the last few pieces. I'm still throwing a bunch of... Uh, pumpkins into my compost bins just to make sure I have plenty of this garden soil. I go through quite a lot. And you can see I'm doing seed runs on these now, but I'm just doing them halfway across because there are so many different types. So as soon as they get to the end, I analyze it and then put them back at the start. So it's a little more work to do that because um, I'm having to, to break them and replant them a lot more, but uh, that was the only way I could fit them all. <laughs> Okay, so let's put our dyes over here. Alright, that should be them all. Yep. And let's look at the quest. Do we complete them all? Yes, we have all of that done. Now it wants us to move on to animals. We'll do that a lot long later. If we look at what the world is made of, um, I did the looked at the copper one, and it says, you know, you want a copper seed. So I was like, okay, let's look at copper seed recipe. No problem. It's four essence, a essence seed, and four weak essence. And I just assumed that tin and iron and coal were the same way, and so I figured I needed four of each kind. And you can see I'm up to four copper and 
three iron, three coal, and three tin with enough stuff ready to go to make the fourth one. Well, come to look at it, if you go out back, um, go off and look at something like a tin seed, it takes three tin and an iron. <laughs> I was like, dang it, and an iron seed takes three iron and a copper. And a coal seed, luckily, is just three coal and a charcoal, so that wasn't too bad. So let's get a charcoal. And we're going to need a bunch of weak essence. How much do I got there? 52. That should be enough for now. I still haven't put the bridge up, but we'll just have to be careful as we come across. And because I was spending so much time doing all the, the breeding, I think my pools are going to be like completely full. Yeah, they're almost full, just on nightshades and daybloom. So let's come on over here. Let's do the uh, copper one first. So that's going to be... Okay, let me get the white bag out of the way. Copper seed was four copper, four weak, and one essence seed. So one, two, three, four. We just throw them on top. One, two, three, four. One of those, and it should be good to go. If we get out our uh, little wand here. Should tell us now that it's ready? No? Maybe it is, maybe it's not. There it goes, right click on it. Now you can see copper seed in the in the HUD and the little green uh, icon is going around it. It seems different than before. I thought it was supposed to be all green. Looks like that changed. Alright, looks like it's done. So now we will throw a living rock on top. Oops, fail. I'll just stand here and throw it. And then we can click it again. And it fell down there, but we'll go grab it. There is our copper seed. Hang on to that guy, because he's the product of a couple hours of work. <laughs> okay, and we got so much mana. Look at that. All right, the next thing we'll do is the um, coal. So we'll need the white bag. Three essence of coal. Uh, let's see. We got just too much stuff. I don't need food right now. Alright, so it's one, two, three coal, one charcoal, four weak essence, and a seed. There it goes. I like how it's, it's pulling from both, so that fills it up a lot faster. Otherwise, it would take a little bit longer. And then we'll just come on top, drop an essence, or living rock, and get it. Did we get it? There we go. Coal seeds. Sweet. Okay, so the iron one, we looked, and that takes a copper essence. So let's go out here. And let's come to, yeah, this guy, this dirt plot right here sounds good. Um, copper seeds are magical. Do they need to grow on garden soil or tilled garden soil? I'm not quite certain. So we're going to need to go in the green bag and get a book or a, not a book, <laughs> a bucket, another word that starts with B. Let's get two pieces of cobble, and let's dig this out, it would be right uh, here. This is what I've been doing for every one of them, just putting some water down, yeah, I'm sure I'm losing torches down there, oh well. I don't have a way to fly at the moment, so that's, that, that's going to have to do. Okay, so let's give it a test. Let's get some garden soil here. Oh, do we want to run it through? I think we do. Do we have any tilled garden soil or anything left? <laughs> Not really. All right, we're just going to run it through on the actual plot. Actually, I think this is actually done. That'll be perfect. Are you a 10-10-10? Ah, so close. Darn it. Okay, I'm going to hold off on that. Garden soil. We've got some that's pre-tilled and some that's not. So we'll try both. Alright. 
That there, that there. Will coal seeds go in that? They will. Copper seeds, will you go on this? They will not. Okay, so we definitely need to hoe this stuff. And there we go. We got the copper and we got the, uh, the coal growing. Now these are magical plants, so I can't just regular bone mill them, unfortunately. I need the magical, but I haven't really used any at all. So let's come to the copper. Grow him all the way. And let's get him to crossbreed once since we're here. Where's the tilt stuff? Okay, propagate. Go! Go! <laughs> no? You don't wanna? Alright, well, uh, I'm gonna cut, guys, and I'm just gonna fill this in with tilled soil. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. I filled this in with tilled garden soil and just made these really long runs. They go down and back. So by the time it gets back here, they should be, you know, like 8 at eights maybe. And this guy has propagated, so let's go ahead and grab the essence. And now I should be able to use that essence of copper in my iron. And that's a lot easier than farming all that stuff that we needed to make the essence of copper in the first place. So let's look at iron seeds. Iron seeds are three iron, one copper, one seed, and four of those. Okay. So one, two, three, four. A seed. Get in the white bag for a three iron. Okay. One, two, three. Copper. Oops, one of them didn't make it. One, two... Oh, come on. Learn how to throw here. That was not what we wanted. Um, shift right click to take one back off. There it goes. Making iron seeds. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll plant the iron and grab one of it to make the tin. And then we should have them all. And living rock. There we go. Iron seed. I'm going to make a whole nother plot of land, don't I? Alright, let's um, get rid of that one for now and just make you my iron. Um, magical fertilizer, this guy. I'm just going to take one right now because I'm impatient. We're going to be able to make a lot of nightshade now with all those black petals coming in. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, so the last one was the tin seed. Three tin, one iron, and all the same junk we've been doing before. One, two, three, four, one... That's good, I saved all of that. Well, I made extra dye powder that I have no use for at all now. Bop, 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 and bam. Glad I had a ton of mana saved up. Actually, it's it's gone up since the last time I've used it. Okay, sure. And the tin seed. Sweet. Let's go plant this guy and then we can turn in those quests, see if anything else new pops up. Okay. And you know what? I don't think these guys can mix at all. Yeah, they can't. So I'm free to put them right next to each other, actually. Other than, I guess... Yeah, it might grow this way. Yeah, I kind of got to do this. Okay. Oh, well. There we go. Those will grow, and we'll now have some ores. Sweet. So just so you know, now now that we get these essences, like, let's look at, like, copper essence. Oops. Essence of copper. 
Essence of Blaze, Essence of Fire. Where's... There we go. So Essence of Copper, we hit you on that. If we do eight of them, we get six Copper Ores. And that's pretty much it. Same kind of thing with the Iron. Eight Iron to get an Iron Ore. Get some kind of weird brick. <laughs> I've never seen those before. Those are weird. But yeah, so now we have ores once we start harvesting these seeds. The aim will be get 10, 10, 10 of these for sure and give them a little bit bigger area. Although the 3x3 three three plots seem to be quite enough. <laughs> these grow so fast now that they're 10, 10, 10s and it's like faster than I can harvest them. If I harvested all four of these that came back, there'd be like more pumpkins ready to harvest. So let's get, always get these seeds processing. Just so we have plenty of garden soil. Okay. So we were going to look at the quest book and see what we can do. We got clean, tin seeds. We can pick either some essence of tin or weak essence. I really have no use of weak essence at all. So let's just get some extra essence. Oh, I could have just used that to get the tin. Oh, well. <laughs> Note to self, turn the copper one in. Use the essence of copper to get the iron. Use that quest to get the tin. Oh, well. All right, so that's pretty much unlocked all that. We can now do the ender seeds or the die seeds or try and move on to the regular infuser. Let's see if we have that. What's it gonna take? Infuser, infusion, there we go. Regular infusion stone. It's gonna take a tin, a copper, a coal, an iron, and, and dye, and we can make that. Okay, cool. So I should be working on that dye seed next. Die said, die seed, there we go. The die seed, oh yeah, it was one of all the dies. I'm not sure, do we have, we should have all that, right? Because we have all this here. Oh, I don't want to put it together right now. But we know we have it. Okay, what the world came to be, I think we've got enough find uh, of this berry here now. So 16 berries. I got 42. <laughs> Claim the reward. So we get six more berry bushes, a full set of iron armor, and something called a force of habit. Equip in the title slot of traveler's gear. Okay. Let's see. Um, I gotta remember that my snorkel... I can't swim when I do this. Um, traveler's gear. I think there's a control for that. Traveler's gear inventory. We need to make it something new. Let's do a P. Whoa, look at all this stuff. Okay. Title slot, it looks like right there. Now I'm Function X Force of Habit. Oh, it won't show because I'm only alone on the server. <laughs> That's okay. If somebody else came on the server, they would see that as like my title under my name, apparently. Cool. And then we can almost get this, because we've almost got the iron we need. There's a lot more quests that are going to open up if that's only 25% done. Okay, so now we've got the ability to do iron. We can start doing the runic altars and stuff. Get some mana steel. Okay. Uh, what the world teaches. Feeling salty. I still need the factory book. Okay, and the atlas. The world enables, oh wow, this opened up a lot. Okay, it wants us to make some pipes and an engine. Okay, it wants us to make a vat and a carpenter. What does a vat take? What, what should I be saving up for? <laughs> copper, okay, lots and lots of copper to make a vat and a Carpenter, probably same way, unless it's bronze. Yeah, it's bronze, okay. How do you do bronze in this pack? Ingot caster, or casting table. All right, sounds good. Any of you guys grown yet? Yep, thank you. Copper essence, hooray! We've got up to three. <laughs> Not many more to go. All right, what the world embraces, we are going to... Oh, it wants us to start doing water. Okay. That sounds like a good plan since we want these to grow now. 
So it wants some water tank siding, five of it. Okay. Let's get some wood. Water tank siding. Here it is. It's a multi-block three by three by three hollow. So that'd be 27, 35 blocks. No. Nine, nine, nine. 26 blocks. Okay, we need 26 of these. So we gotta do this cast. Oh, it takes iron. And pipe sealant comes from cactus green or slime balls. Cactus green comes from eelgrass. Oh, I actually have that. Just sitting in here. Cool. Yep, cool. And then we can just get pipe sealant. Sweet. Put that back in here for now until we actually need it. But yep, we're going to have to wait for some iron. Where am I still are all these essences now? Holy crap. Uh, you can go there. You go there. No, your seeds. I don't want you there. On the bones we got here. Let's put the metals in this guy. So copper, coal. We'll just do it right along here. Iron and tin. No, I want them up here. It's easier to look at one one block and see, okay, well, I've got two of each. You know, what do I need to do? Okay, so let's put a few things away again. I need to save those till I actually need experience. Don't need to bone mill anything right now. I need to plant those. So I'll save those in my inventory. Got an extra block. And put some of this back in the bag. Oops, wrong bag. And I could take this out of the bag. Okay, tools go in here. You, you, you. There we go. Floral powder, I guess I might need it for something. <laughs> but we'll just throw it in there. Slate is a block. There's a wood. Keep that, keep that. Weak acids. Okay, I think we're good. We're, inventory's looking a lot better. Okay, so we can't do this yet till we get more iron. Nothing else I really need right now, so let's just see if there's something that would help me progress further. Feeding time, should we do this one, the fish feeder, since we already had. Fish feeder was the wicker, so we need lots of sticks and sugar cane. Uh, oops, I already had some, so. Spruce wood, ah, goodness. I'm not doing spruce anymore. Okay. This thing just doesn't like to do that recipe. Um, so 5 times 6, 30 sticks. I have 32, so we're good. Uh, let's put these in first. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Get out of here. Okay. Six of you. In the middle is a chest. And then we need some raw fish. Where did I put my fish? I think they're down in a chest down here. Yeah, this was the fishing chest. Take my spider fish. Because that just sounds gross. And make the fish feeder. Okay, cool. Crafting task. Now make a basic cooling upgrade. Basic cooling. I've not done mariculture ever, so <laughs> this is all new. Snow, snow, iron. Okay, stuck again. <laughs> That's fine. We're going to be rolling in iron fairly soon. So let's put the... Uh, 
feed her back in there. That tank, by the way, um, is full of fish oil. That's pretty good. I wonder how much bees are going to be involved in this pack. If I should, like, really start them this early or not. Okay. Let's keep going down the quest line here. Life of the world. There's the egg. How the world changes. Still has nothing in it. And the way the world feels. Still nothing in it. Okay, so really we're kind of gated right now based on um, essences. So hopefully these propagate fairly quickly. And we can get into the, the next stuff. Um, can we make a t mana tablet right now? I know it's probably going to ask us to make one later, but... Yeah, eight living rock and a mana pearl. Just because those are about to fill up, I'd like to not have them fill up and start wasting stuff. So here's the mana pearl. Do I have enough living rock? I easily. I've never had so much mana. This is awesome. Green bag has you. Probably a bad idea taking the sword off my hot bar to do that. I should place it in a different slot. Okay, so you're going to now sparing mana. Go. No, I wasn't ready to grab you yet. And we'll just drain maybe down just below half. Now this mana tablet, if you don't know, it allows you to, um, your, if you have tools made out of a mana steel, to repair themselves using the mana from this tablet. So, I'm uh, accepting mana, okay. And you are just under half, okay, you're good. So yeah, it's really good to have this mana tablet on your person with a lot of mana in it, because we can get some really good tools in just a little bit, and uh, yeah, they're going to repair themselves. So we got three copper, three iron. It was eight of them to get the full full ingots, right? Got another piece of tin. Should I use magical fertilizer? I don't know. I'm wondering if I should move this chest down there too, because that's where we're gonna be harvesting it. Okay. I have, I like the way it's looking though. Everything's going good. How I planned it out. I'll probably get rid of these plants now, but. Just leave them there for now. Guys, I th I think we're just going to call it there. Um, we made a lot of progress. Getting all of the seeds done now and starting to work on the 10-10-10 the 10 10 versions of them is going to be really helpful in the future where we're just going to be overloaded with resources. We're going to have more iron, copper, coal, and tin than we know what to do with. So, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button. If you like the methods I'm using, you know, let me know. Uh, if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's completely free. And until the next episode, this has been Funshot X for Feed the Beast. Regrowth. Uh, amplified. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye.